Hi, this is Naomi Sam from Blue Cinema, and I love AVA Live this Radio. This is Brian J. Klein, and I love AVA Live Music. Hi, this is Tiffany, and I love AVA Live Radio. Hey, this is Dr. from the American Rock Hall Comedy Live Radio. Hi everyone, this is Jacqueline Jacks, your host on AVA Live Radio. I'm so glad you decided to spend a little time with me today. You know, just as I promised, I have some more awesome marketing tips for you. Today's hot topic is getting more traffic to your website. So, let me just start by saying thank you to many of you and, and all the amazing community members who've contributed their expertise to my marketing tips series here on AVA Live Radio. And also to all of my loyal listeners for sending in your marketing questions and topic ideas. I'm here to get answers for you, so ask away, my friends, because I love to hear from you. Let's get started. If you're on the Internet, then I'm sure you already know that it's no easy task to get people to visit your website. Well, I'm here to tell you that there is an art to attracting traffic to your website, and I've been doing it a long time, and I've also spoken with many, many, many um, professionals in the industry on doing these sort of things as the times change. So we're going to put out a lot, a lot of information here on AVA Live Radio to help you out and get you started and also hopefully build your Internet business, whether it be an online platform for music or entertainment or just build your own personal brand. Now, assuming that you already have a traffic a really, really terrific hybrid website to share. Here are some quick tips for attracting more visitors and keeping them interested once you get them there. If you don't have a hybrid website now, subscribe to the blog at avaliveradio.wordpress.com because we'll be sending more information on that and all the subscribers will get it in their email, so be sure to subscribe. Now, let's consider your image first. These are the top 10 tips. First, have you ever heard of the saying, a picture's worth a thousand words? Well, your pictures tell your story, and that story is who you are and who you aspire to be. So, you know, what makes people like Steven Tyler, Taylor Swift, Beyonce, Bono, Mick Jagger, Lady Gaga, trendsetters? Well, if you look at what they're doing online and what they have done, they know how to put themselves out there in ways that we can relate to. I leave you with this one thought on this point. Be yourself, but take a step back before releasing images. They may not paint an accurate picture of who you are and what you're selling, and that's really, really important. Number two, SEO optimization. Search engines and, um, you know, they send their spider robots out to index the content of your pages. They've always done it. They always will continue to do it. And I also have posted some articles underneath this blog um, from the new ways that Google is, is uh, tracking all the search engine listings, and you should really read into them and study up and make sure that you stick with us, because I will do more series on it, but so that you can stay up to date on this, because it does change. So be sure to take the necessary steps to prepare your web pages for optimal indexing. Get started by using keyword-rich titles on every page of your website. Next, be sure to add information and be sincere with the text, very carefully describing what you're selling or presenting on your pages. If you don't know enough about SEO optimization, you can get someone to do it for you, but make sure that you hire a very good company because there's a lot of people out there that aren't really up on the latest techniques. Um, you know, we are going to post a lot of articles on this so that we can kind of educate you on how to know the difference and to know what's the latest techniques and, and what you need to do. And if you, um, you know, never fear really because AVA Life's got you covered. We're, we're going to release lots of articles on this stuff so you will learn it and it is good to, to have that knowledge in any case. But for the most part, right now, Google... Um, is trying to do a lot more of current indexing. So things that happened maybe a year ago probably won't show up on the first page of your search engine listings. You want to kind of keep your site really current and try and stay really up to date with daily postings. And this is why it's very important because they have changed. They know that people that are doing searches on the Internet right now want to see the most current stuff. They don't want to see the stuff from last year. So you will have to keep everything updated when it comes to this. <clears throat> now, number three, subscribe now button. Make it your priority to build your company list. 
Be sure to place a subscription button or a box on every page of your website. You cannot start a marketing campaign without a potential customer, so be, you have to be diligent about this. Be sure to market that button. Make sure you get it on your website. It's so, so important. Every visitor that comes, you should be encouraging them somehow, some way to join that list. Number four, start a Twitter and a Facebook account if you haven't already in your web name and share pages from your website with those pages. Now remember, you don't own Twitter, you don't own Facebook, YouTube, all these things you don't own. So always work from your own .com forward because if they black out or something happens or it gets taken away from you for some reason, you don't have that. You always want to build your main website. But tell a friend in your social network, tell them all about your website, your email list, get everybody kind of to using those social media tools to stay in contact with you and um, update your daily site, update it daily, update it weekly, update it monthly. Make sure that you stay in tune and in touch with your people. Um, also, keep your site current and active, like I said before. It's the key to creating a place where people want to come back to. <clears throat> Number five, blogging. Now, I suggest with the current um, way things are going, on the internet, I suggest that you start a blog, and I'll tell you why. Blogs encourage you to kind of do daily posts, and they don't have to be long. If they can be short. You can even just take a, f a picture with your phone, and you can send a comment in as a blog. But this keeps your site very interesting and Facebooky, you know, kind of like that environment where you're doing daily posts, and it keeps it keeps um, the interest for the people who do visit your page. So you really have to think outside the box, though, before you decide on the direction to blog. And But it's a terrific way to get the dialogue started with your supporters. And um, plus the blog format is fine and it's easy. As I said before, it's easy to update from your phone or iPad. Posts can be stories, events, updates, um, music updates, career updates, product updates. You can also hold drawings and things through your blog. It's a really fun format to use. And the social media tools, it's easy to share them, and it's also well-received on the search engine listings as well. Number six, be genuine. Be genuine. Avoid the hard-sell tactics of major brands, okay? And you know what I'm talking about. People don't like to be treated like dummies. Posting a comment about a product or service, your music, will leave a far better impression than another boring ad. So keep it real, and your friends will keep watching. Number seven, drawings and giveaways. Who doesn't love free stuff, right? If you're generous with your clients, you will not only get their attention, but they will definitely be talking about you. So believe me, and we do it all the time on JackiesBoutique.com. We have free giveaways for all of our loyal customers that spread the word about us. There is no better advertising than word of mouth, and this is a terrific way to build your mailing list of people who already like your products. So don't be stingy, guys. You have to spend money to make money, so be generous with your products and your music. Remember, there are a lot of competitive products out there. Your goal is to believe in your products and get it into the hands of your target audience. Number eight, business cards. An old but necessary step. Now, business cards are still today's most important thing to have if you want to drive traffic to your website because you'd be surprised how many people you meet in a day. Business cards are not only really inexpensive, but they're a great way to deliver information about your products or services, and you have both sides that you can use. You'll, never, um, you'll need to design a high-quality, exciting card with your name, your product slogan, your logo, website information, and contact information on it. And remember, your card is your first impression, so make it a lasting one. Money is no excuse either, because online sites like Vistaprint offer super low first order prices with terrific full color card options. So go get it done. Number nine, we're almost there. Video. Video is an awesome, awesome way to advertise your products, and let's and like get, it gets people to know about your business and you as a business owner or a musician. So set up a great looking YouTube site because that's a, a free site that you can use and it's very popular with search engines. And start creating some high quality videos for your music or products. Make sure they're great though. 
Um, most of your computers have built-in HD cameras, so you can use those, but if you don't, you can easily pick one up for around $70. You don't have to spend a lot of money on all the fancy bells and whistles, even though I tend to get crazy with my video camera choices, but, you know, even a flip camera works, so all the HDs are really good. Just make sure it has very good audio quality or you have the option. Some of them have options of plugging a microphone in. I think that's a really good thing to have. Be sure to use editing software. So add that special polish to your frames and never rush a post. I have a 24-hour rule around here. If the video still impresses me 24 hours after I finish it, then it's okay to post it. If you want to learn more about cameras and editing, there are tons of tutorials on YouTube. So, in fact, you know what? I, I'll sure post some of these links on YouTube.com um, slash American Vocal Academy, that channel, to help you out. We'll create a section, and that way all of these interesting things can go there, and you can find really good ones instead of having to sift through them yourself. So that is YouTube, the American Vocal Academy channel. Um, and then, you know, Ten, guys, tip ten is relax. It takes time. Many of you have been asking how long it takes to build up a following for your music and business, and yeah, there are some people that seem to pop up overnight, but truthfully, once you have a smashing online presence, you have to be religious about your efforts daily. You have to really enjoy doing this and meeting people and getting out there. You have to believe in yourself and your products, and many of the people that you admire have most likely been at it for at least a year, if not more. So, um, And they've not only given their brand a lot of thought, but have their image finely tuned by either professional or they've been very good at it, you know. Now, we're going to do a lot of, a lot of shows here on my series for marketing on AVA Live Radio. We're going to be telling you how to brand and why to brand and all kinds of things on branding and how to get websites set up and where to do it and who to do it with and if you want to take it on yourself. So make sure you subscribe to the AVA Live Radio dot WordPress blog because we'll be putting all that information out there for you and I will be your host. Um, but, you know, it's all about tweaking your plan to maximize your results as you go along. So be patient. Well, I hope my tips on getting more hits on your website were helpful. If you have questions, please be sure to leave um, them on the web blog, avaliveradio.wordpress.com. And also be sure to check out my personal Facebook page, Jacqueline Jacks, for more daily tips. That was fun. Thanks for sharing some time with me here on AVA Live Radio. I'll see you again soon. Soon, and I'm signing off with a great song by singer-songwriter Naomi Song with Already Hit Send. I love this song. Oh